по улице ходят тени. Now you can't ever say Natalie wasn't willing to give it her all for a job. Unless you want like a resume or something, then you're out of luck. Like Tyrae. And a lot of our single lifers this episode. Tim, you're a bitch, dude. Season four of 90 Day of Single Life is going off the rails, and I guess we shouldn't be surprised at this point, but I do want to talk about episode five. So let's get into it. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Let's start with Natalie, because she was in rare form this episode, interviewing for a receptionist position at boyfriend Josh's cousin's business. If I were to talk to the people that know you the best, what would they say? Josh would say, I'm needy. And I don't think she'll be getting a second job interview after turning the first one into a Josh interview. Have you met his mother of his second child? Honestly, she might end up with a ban from the building altogether. It's weird. But Natalie isn't going to give up there. She's going to make her own job interview when Josh invites over this Hollywood producer for dinner. I will read for you in Russian language Shakespeare. Yes, yeah. Honestly, this Shakespeare in Russian performance was very scary and very bold. So she gets an audition offer. Who said Shakespeare isn't relevant today? Мне страшно с тобой встречаться. Страшнее тебя не встречать. Я стал всему удивляться. На всем ловил печать. I was definitely getting Shakespearean vibes from the Veronica, Jamal, Tim situation this episode. Households divided, etc., etc. Now, we all know Tim hates Jamal for dating his ex, but now he really hates him after Jamal made a comment about Tim's role as a father in Veronica's daughter's life. If we're going to sit here and act like Tim is just his father of the year. And cue the fighting. Voice what you're me? not going to do is question me being a f***ing dad to Chloe. Surprise, no one took a stage dagger to the heart there. Stop talking about me to Veronica. Like, that's really it. And keeping on the same theme, nothing is more of a tragedy than Tyree's dating life. His trip to New Orleans is honestly so bleak. He cannot stop telling these women about his catfishing story. I was in a four-year relationship okay. with a man. <laughs> Something tells me he's not exactly putting his best foot forward this season. All right, definitely trauma dumps. Trauma dump hella early. I'm like, bruh. We do have a hint of romance throughout the episode, though. Not to mix literary genres, but Chantelle is out here living her best sisterhood of a traveling pants life with Giannis in Greece. She's traveling four hours to see him again, while insisting that she doesn't want to take things fast after her divorce. Yeah, sure thing. These two are already talking about kids and Chantal living in Greece with him. I'm on cloud nine. And while Chantal's first post-divorce kiss earlier this season might have ended in a breakdown, this one seems to hit just right. These two cannot keep their hands off each other. But there's always that doubt. I can't help but think I could be setting myself up for heartbreak again. Honestly, that's not a bad guess. That's my guess too. We're gonna have to watch everything play out for the rest of the season, so let me know what you thought of this episode and Natalie's Shakespeare rendition in the comments. Like and subscribe and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call.